welterweight bout between Stephen Thompson and Kelvin Gastelum. On April 13, 2013, he upset Uriah Hall to win the Ultimate Fighter. Six years later, he challenged for interim UFC middleweight gold. Unable to finish the job that night, but a valuable 25-minute exchange there with Israel Adesanya. One of the best title fights we have ever seen. And now Gaslam trying to rebuild and get back to the top of the game. And it starts today. The journey back to the top starts at level one. And Kelvin Gaslam will embrace that. He will look at it and he will say, I am up to this journey. I'm up for the fight. I'm up for the uphill battle. I am up for the preparation of trying to become a champion. It's been a sole goal for Gaston. And he will do everything in his power, starting tonight, to put himself back in a UFC championship fight. All right, so here's the accomplished, decorated kickboxer, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Twice he has challenged for UFC gold, came up short against Tyron Woodley. But at any given time, DC, this man is one win away from another shot at the goal. Yes, because he can put on those types of performances where the fans and everybody starts screaming, wait, what about Wonderboy? What about Wonderboy? And it does not seem as though Stephen Thompson has you in danger. But every time you're in there with him, you're constantly under the rest because one mistake can be the end of your night. You watch one of the boys slide out of position mm -hmm. very, very subtly as guys trying to attack him. And the moment you're out of position, Steven is countering and finishing the fight. A phenomenal striker, a great fighter is the one to And a true martial artist who, not unlike yourself, is giving back to the sport, runs the children's karate program at Upstate Karate there in Simpsonville, South Carolina. And they are all watching their man here tonight as he tries to produce on the biggest of stages. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of... Oh! Now they are 
are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice, nice right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Boom. He's a coach. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Just over three minutes to go round one. That was the game. Nice strike. Big leg kick land. Stuff to take down, no problem. Beautiful body kick. And a miss with the right hook. And he landed the right hand there. Shot is blocked by Wonder Boy Thompson. Big knee there. Oh! Kick to the body by Thompson. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Stephen Thompson. Blocks the shot. Nice right punch followed by a left. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. So five minutes in the can, now we get to our second round. Steven Wonderboy Thompson versus Kelvin Gaston. Lands with a right hand. That kick blocked by Gastelum. Wonderboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. So 35 total strikes have now landed for one of the best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Kelvin Gaston. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative. At oh, nice job. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Now he's gonna attack the triangle choke here.
right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Gotta think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It is three back. Cash. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point, it was accurate, and it was oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Castleham's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good work from the top here by Gaston. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Thompson. Two minutes now to go in the round. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Thompson. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do 
is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, here's round four of fight schedule for... Not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. That takedown attempt without issue. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Right idea, poor execution, the counter right, no good. Caught that kick there. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, strong punch there by Gastelum. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And now Gastelum's in trouble. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, oh, he might be out. How about those five minutes? There's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the round. Oh! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh no! Oh, fades upstairs and lands flush to the They land perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, collar tie. Back and forth we go! Nice, 
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Now to go in this one. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Gastelum's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Right punches there. Just misses with that one. with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Single collar tie now, and they separate. Well, you got there, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Gastelum gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, so a close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance. Maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the knock. I mean, he's got a hope, right? He's got a hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47. Gastelum. Judge two scores it, 9-46. Thompson. And judge three scores it, 48-47. For the winner by split decision, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some of yeah. those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, scorecards. it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two judges saw it your way. 